Hi guys, so I wanted to go live but I was thinking no because look at me. I look like crap and I'm not sure why but on lives you look even worse. I don't know why. It seems like it's washing your face off or something. It's my little thing here. Wait, I have to go. Mm. Anyway. I wanted to say hi and talk about a little bit of my self-esteem, which is non-existed, and my hair is fucked up, look at this, look, look. I'm not washing it, it's falling out. And it's not falling out because of my jeans or anything, it's falling out because of my stress levels and stuff and I don't know what's going on with me. I just feel like crap. I have a feeling that all the things that I've done in my life from cancer and things that they all affect my uh, hormones and the hormones affect my hair, they affect my teeth, they affect my skin. I look older, I look disgusting, I look yuck, I look horrible. That's how I feel. I mean, just I'm just telling you what I feel. And I feel really crappy. I feel like there is maybe like 3% hope for me. And I sometimes wonder why I'm still alive. And people that are healthy are dying or something bad is happening to children. And, you know, all the shootings and stuff. And I'm still alive. I mean, what's wrong with that picture? I don't think I deserve to be here, to be honest. I mean, my mom is not here. I don't have to be here anymore. I just did my room. And I'm not sure even why. I mean, what's the point in cleaning the room, in fixing everything, when in the end it's all here? And I have to wash my hair today. I have to cut my hair tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm a gastroenterologist, which I hate. I have to go because I had to. I, I should have been there two weeks ago and I didn't go. And I'm getting fat again and it's killing me because I'm just, you know, just binge eating like crazy. And I, I don't know how to stop anything. It seems that everything that I'm doing is wrong and since my mom died, everything just went downhill and everything is just wrong and wrong and wrong and nothing really, you know, the thing in my hair, it's, it's dry wax. That's why it's like this. I have to wash it. It'll be better when I wash it. But my hair is like horrible. And <sighs> yeah. Um, guys, I'm really thinking about hair transplant because I have a lot of hair, you know, in the sides and stuff. And I'm not getting bold. I'm just getting like alopecia like. I don't know. It's something like alopecia rare. I had it when I was younger. Here and there, uh, it happened here in patches, uh, or here, not now, but now it's happening here or here. And they told me that I have to go and check it out, and maybe I'll have a hand trans hair transplant if I if I raise some money. I don't know how, but we'll see. It's not that expensive. It's like two thousand euros. That's like about two thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah. But I want to do it. I don't want to. I don't want to get old without my hair. And as vain as it sounds, it's true. And I am picking my brows as well. They're getting smaller and smaller here and here. And my psychiatrist is still saying I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. And I'm thinking, how am I fine? How am I fine? How the fuck am I fine? I can't be fine like this. Oh, I should have recorded into this. Well, I'll just put it like this, yeah. And then I'll put it in, yeah. I just don't know how am I fine. 
he's telling I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. I'm horrible. And when I tell him that, he just goes like, like th this is his face. When I say that I'm going to kill myself, he's like, like, okay, Tom, Tom is you, you, you don't think that. You don't believe that. And I say, yes, I do. She's going to disappear into the forest. I'm going to kill myself. It's going to be romantic. It's going to be beautiful. I'm just going to sleep in the woods until I die, until the pills or something starts working. And then when I die, the deer will come and the owls will come and they will all sleep with me until I just disappear and fall apart and the, and the you know, wild hogs will eat me. And he's saying, he's saying that it's normal to think that. And I'm, and I'm like... Is it normal? Is it really normal for me to think that? And I know that a lot of people that subscribe, the new subscribers will run away. But, you know, honesty is underappreciated. And I'm honest all the time. And I don't care. But I really don't love my life. See, I'm just touching my brows. And I, 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 I chopped, not chopped, I pulled everything here. I don't know why am I doing that. It's my stupid mind, which is just, which just doesn't want to let me go. And my hyperactivity and my hypersensitivity and my hyper joint uh, uh, flexibility and my hyper intelligence, as my psychiatrist says, I'm not saying that. I don't think I'm intelligent at all. He thinks that. He thinks that I'm super intelligent and that that's why I'm just suffering. And fuck suffer. I mean, I'm an artist. My brain works so much differently. Nobody gets that. I mean, people do get it, but people don't want to believe that. They think it's a myth. It's not a myth. I am. I'm seeing everything different. If you knew how I see life, you would say, what the fuck, I want to get away from this head because you would just go crazy. I just don't know how how am I still still alive. I don't know how I, how how come I didn't die yet. Anyway, I don't. I really don't like myself right now. And as I say, it's not about money. It's not about fame, it's not about work, it's not about anything, because I'm doing the best job I can, and I'm doing the best job in the world, and I'm an artist, plus the thing that was shipped that I didn't know what it is, I call Customs today, and it's actually a magazine from California, where I'm featured in, they sent it to me, I'm not sure why it's so heavy, and they're going to send it to the post office, and I'm just going to have to pay 25% of the worth, and that's $10, 25% is like two and a half dollars so yeah, that's what I'm going to have to pay, but, you know, it's, everything is just stupid, and my head hurts, or, mm. I just don't think that living is worth pain, and the pain is worth existing, and existence just seems so unbearable, and I just ate the ice cream, I ate banana, I ate muesli, I ate soup. I mean, I'm just eating like crazy and I just feel so limpy, look. And plus my hyper, uh, how do you say, my hyper, my joint hyper, uh, hyper, how do, how do, how do you say that? Hyper elasticity of my joint is really strange. I can do so much things, I don't want to freak you out, but if you saw that, you know, what I can do with my, I can, well, I can pull my fingers all the way back and, and it doesn't hurt, or my hands, or my legs, I can put my legs all the way, I mean, my feet all the way to my mouth, and stuff, stupid stuff like this, and yeah. I thought that I'm going to feel better in my room if it's white and if everything is clean. Nope. It's a myth. It doesn't work. If you clean your room, you don't clean your mind. You just clean your room. That's it. That's it. I mean, it's so stupid to think of. I, I sometimes I just surprise myself how stupid I am. I saw how, how dumb I am and how, 
I, I just don't like myself. And yeah. I know it's 10 minutes, I don't want to ramble too long, but I just wanted to do that. And the social anxiety thing in the mall. Yesterday, I didn't buy, did I buy, I think I bought socks yesterday. Yeah, and it was such a huge uh, pain and accomplishment for me. And today I didn't buy anything. Just got there, I just looked around. There were so many people on the checkout and the register waiting and it was like, I just I just start sweating and I'm then I'm ashamed and I'm, then I'm shaking and then I'm red and then everything starts to boil inside of me and I have to run, not literally, but you know. And then I feel like, then I feel stupid. Anyway, if you like this video, share, subscribe and like and I don't care really if I'm crazy or not. My psychiatrist after a year and a half says I'm fine. Tomorrow is my mom's death anniversary and I'm just feeling like crap. I wish I was dead, but I don't want to die. But I wish I had more hair. I wish everything would come back.